Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we're just getting ready to give out another set of minor awards. We have our Texter's Choice Award. The next vote uh, candidates number eight, Miss Dira. Ladies and gentlemen, this Cosagen Award goes to candidate number five, Lorraine Patalai, representing Lipkan. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss M. Lumiliere is candidate number eight, Maria Lira B. Ortega of Trans and LGBT. Emperador Light Award goes to candidate number 13, Germany Balaran of Sultix. Down minor award is candidate number five, Lorraine Patalai. of the ladies who will be the top five candidates for tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the top five candidates. Come on down. Candidate number 13, Germany.
have gone this far, and I'm sure your families and friends are proud of you. This is our question and answer portion of our five finalists, ladies and gentlemen. Hi. How are you? Wow. Just a bit, huh? Okay, you go to school? Yes, sir. And your name is? My name is Ortega. You're from? I'm from, I represent Jen Salon, but I study at the University of Santo Tomas High School. Oh, so you're uh, studying at the University of Santo Tomas, and you're in high school? What, wow, uh, very young. <laughs> what, what course are you planning to take up when you get to college? I plan to take up entrepreneurship when I go to college. So, you plan to take up entrepreneurship when she gets to college, okay? Your first time to join a uh, pageant? Yes, sir. This is your first. How, how tall are you? My height is 5'7". She is 5'7", and I'm 5'7". Aren't you we going to ask me to? <laughs> <laughs> no, never mind. Forget it, Seth. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, so, are we ready? Not yet ready, uh, because we have... You know, it takes time to put uh, four candidates inside an isolation room. And inside the isolation room, right, ladies and gentlemen, we are rest assured that they are not going to hear what we are going to do here. But we would like to inform everyone that for the question and answer portion, we will ask the candidates to pick out one, one label from our fish bowl and that label contains a word and that word will be expounded by our candidates only one word will be expounded by all the five finalists and that's what we are going to do for the question and answer so whatever word you will be picked off that will be the word for all the candidates exactly so uh, whatever word will be picked out by our candidate, first candidate, that will be expounded also by the other candidates, okay? Now we have here five envelopes and closing there are words. And now our uh, Miss uh, Trends and LGD will now have to pick out her words. So, ladies and gentlemen, I have here five envelopes. And Miss LGBT or trans will pick out one question. This is not actually a question. It contains a word from the envelope that she's going to pick out. And the word shall be expounded by the candidate, uh, by our candidates, our finalists, okay? So, candidate number eight, you ready to pick out one? Please do that for us. And the rest of the envelopes we just have to eliminate. So, here we go. So what gonna be the word for uh, our candidates? Candidate number eight, here we go. Please expound on the word environment again please expound on the word environment our environment is also known as a mother nature sometimes we tend to destroy it by the means of welfare carbons or sometimes we just put our trashes anywhere throw it in some places like the canals that is why look at what happened in the, in the philippines the typhoon Yolanda almost destroyed the Visayas part, and I think it's because of the trashes. I think we should we should take care of our environment because this is where we live and this is where we start. Thank you. Thank you very much, Canada number eight, uh, representing Transalon and LGBT. Let's have candidate number five back on stage. So how do you feel right now, Miss uh, Lipkai? I'm blessed because I'm one of the five winners. Okay, Miss Lipkai, how, how tall are you? I stand 
Six. You stand five six. Never mind six. Forget about you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Anyway, you go to school. I already finished. What course did you finish? EB Mascom. EB Mascom. Oh, so what do you work course. now? Do you work? Uh, not yet. Okay. Trying to look for a job. Okay. Uh, Miss Lipkan, uh, we have just one thing to ask you. Okay? We have one word, and all you have to do is just expound it. Okay? Miss Lipkan, please expound on the word environment. Good evening, Banget. Paolo Divo, in his manuscript found in Accra, once said, and I quote, Environment is our surrounding, where we have the biggest responsibility we take care of. As we celebrate Dapil's Fest, Dapil Festival, sorry, um, Dapil Festival, the, product, pro, the production, sorry, um, the as we celebrate the Dabil Festival, the production and the preserve of our environment will be one of the main objective of the creation of an organization that will be called Kumaon, which stands for Cooperativa de Gitimanalon Itionas. This group will provide financial assistance at a minimal interest rate and strategic market for the production of basi, molasses, vinegar for the promotion of our products to global market. This will elevate not only the lives of the farmers but also our local government through the increase of local taxes, which will be used in providing job opportunities, livelihood projects, and to uplift tourism. All of this will strengthen our vision towards Asensu Bangen. I've spoken and that would be all. Thank you. So, we go now on candidate number 16. Candidate number 16 is to Roxanne and Palio. Representing Kabahasan. Hi, Roxanne. You go to school, Roxanne? Upper high school, sir. So you're still in high school? So what do you plan to take up when you get to college? Teacher, sir. You'd like to be a teacher? Uh-huh. Uh, specifically high school or elementary? Um, maybe high school, sir. Maybe high school. So actually, teaching is a very noble, uh, noble profession. One thing good, then you can say that again, uh, Sam. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Thank you. Candidate number 16, Roxanne, we're just going to ask you something simple. All you have to do is expound on the word environment. Roxanne. Environment. Environment is connected to humans because it is where we we get the things, the things for us to survive. Our environment, the earth, is our home. It is where we live, we breathe, eat, and raise our children. That's all. Thank you. Now let's call in our next candidate, number. 15. Our candidate number 15, ladies and gentlemen, is Jeneline um, Jeneline Bersanin, representing Zone 2. Hi, Jeneline. Hello, sir. Hi, you go to school? Yes, sir. Where at? Vineyard College of Pumpkin. Are you in high school or college? College, sir. So, you, what course are you taking up? Nursing, sir. Oh, you'd like to be a nurse someday. You'll be a colleague someday. Okay, so why do you like why do you like to be a nurse? Because I want to help other people. It's good. It's good. Okay, here we go. Um, candidate number 15, 
we are going to ask you only one simple thing for us, for the question and answer. All you have to do is expound on the word environment. Candidate number 15. Environment. We should be, we should all be aware to the three R's. Reuse, reduce, and recycle. And we must support the clean and green programs. The best an effective way to protect our environment is to educate ourselves. We must know also the Agenda 21, that is the sustainable development, the balance between nature and technology. And for that, ladies and gentlemen, I strongly believe that the things that we do good today will not just only benefit the present, but we are securing the future of our children's children. Thank you. Let's have candidate number 13 for a question and answer. Our candidate number 13 is Germaline Balanai, representing Zone 6. Hi, Germaline. You go to school? Yes, sir. Where are you? In the College of Bonnet. You're in college or high school? College. Oh, so what course are you taking up? Education, sir. Uh, which one? High school or elementary? High school, sir. So you'd like to be a high school teacher. Okay, Jermaline, we are going to ask you one simple thing for us, okay? All you have to do is expound on the word environment. Let's do that for us. Environment. Environment is composed of non-living things and living things. Ito po yung nakikita natin sa ating kapaligiran. Um, katulad ng kalikasan. Jackson. And here is your candidate uh, representing Zone 6, candidate number 13. Okay. There you have them, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, the five finalists for tonight's Miss Bunget 2014.